Hi, I'm looking at integrated space weather analysis. This is composite of the sun at these three angstroms. And there's an object up here in the upper right. Sucking energy off the sun, equalizing the energy. Hard to tell the size, but you can see all the circles around it. Seems like it's moving away. I guess they just move with the rotation of the sun. But you can't see them unless it's on the edge. They just sort of blend in, I guess. Well, not for NASA, just for the people that look at this crappy information we're given because they know where exactly where everything is. So here's the magnetopause of the Earth, sun's on the right. But one of the ideas is that the planet X system is coming up from the southern, if you look south on the Earth, then it's from that direction in space. And in, indeed, it seems like the magnetopause collapses here on the southern side. And just overall, whenever I look at this, there always seems to be a little more pressure on the southern side. There it's collapsing all over the place, which protects the Earth from solar wind, rays, energy, harmful material, or harmful energy. Not much action in these two, but the dark means absence of light. So that part of the sun is dark, these dark areas. Or absence of light. I'm going to go to Earth No School and just look at the fires in California for a minute. My uh, aunt lives up here about in Santa Rosa. She was going to fly up here, but it turned out last minute tickets like $900. So she said no. She's just staying inside and not moving around much. But that is a lot of smoke. Well, it's radioactive smoke now because everything is everything's radioactive now. So whatever you burn is radioactive smoke. So you really don't want to breathe that. The way it is.